So here's the main road. Right there is the snowmobile track. And here is Willem. There is Willem. Where should we go, dude? I don't know, should we send it down this road and see what we find? There's not that many people around here, so we can do whatever. Both of our vlog cameras. Casual reindeer crossing right here. Oh, they got scared. Dude, if you don't know that those are reindeer, they look like some kind of sheep. Yo, you going or not? Made it to Svalbard. Hey, yo, one, two, is the mic working? <laughs> Made it here with my brother, Willem Verbeek. What is good? It is currently dark and cold and very snowy. That we are cool. very, very excited to explore this area. So let's get moving and see what we find over here. I mean, area is like a big term because this town is so freaking small. So it's like more like single street, but how do I look? Dude, how cold is it right now? Dude, it's like minus. It is so cold. I cannot feel my fingers anymore. It is 24 hour darkness. And the next time the sun will rise over here is actually at the end of February, I believe. And until that, every morning you wake up, it's dark, go to sleep, it's dark. It's just dark, 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 dark. Which is kind of interesting. And I am very curious to see if that has any effect on me. Altogether, we have 10 days here. And during that time, we're just trying to shoot as much as possible with this light that is available, which is not very much, but we will definitely make the most out of it. So in this video, I am going to put this camera in test, which is my Olympus EM5 Mark III, which I primarily use for making videos. But since it's super dark here and quite extreme conditions, I am excited to try out how this functions with photos. The camera has incredible image stabilization as well as autofocus and being these harsh conditions here, negative 20 Celsius degrees, I am excited to see how this actually works in practicality. You are supposed to be able to take pretty long exposure images handheld. It has the five axis image stabilization, which should be one of the best ones in the market. So I'm excited to take this for a spin and see what we come up with. These conditions are definitely challenging for a photographer, but by no means are they impossible. And we've been shooting for a couple hours and so far I have been extremely impressed with this camera and specifically the handheld long exposures. We've been shooting around here in this harbor area as well as closer to the Longyearbyen town. And honestly, I'm really digging what I can get with this camera handheld pretty impressive but I think we'll keep moving trying to stay warm here so let's go
I mean, just the fact that this camera with the lens weighs 413 grams is absolutely insane. So the next stop on our little sightseeing tour around Longyearbyen is to stop by the Svalbard church. Willem left his light meter there last night. Fingers crossed it will be still sitting there. Are you talking about my light meter? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope. So we are in the church. Willem got back his light meter. And right here, you're supposed to take off your boots and only use Crocs in this church. Also, fun fact, you need to leave your gun here. So do not go to Sunday service with your rifle. Crazy place, dude. The darkness is like getting to me. It feels weird. You wake up and you think, oh, I need to go back to sleep. But no, it's actually 11 a.m. And it's pretty cold as well. But I love it. It's beautiful. The extreme conditions definitely call for extreme preparation when it comes to gear. So right now I'm actually having several layers on me, starting from merino underwear, pairing that with thick fleece, then light down jacket and a really thick down jacket to keep me warm. are watering. I am currently sitting in the car staying warm thanks to Visit Svalbard for just helping us with so many things figuring out where to stay what to do what to see all that good stuff and got it dude thanks <laughs> got it got it so we are having some major issues keeping our fingers warm. We have to wear these, which makes everything slightly more unpractical. But even though we're trying to get stuff done and I just spotted this awesome looking tractor. So I'm going to grab a quick photo and we'll continue our tour. I've been using this Olympus camera for the past couple months, mainly for making videos. But I think this will be my everyday camera from now on and I will link it down in the description so you can check it out as well. Time to head back home. Willem is going to New York. Uh, I definitely think if you ever get the chance, you should absolutely visit Svalbard. It is such a beautiful place. We made it. How was it? It's been incredible. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.